Hey guys, Mike here from Office of the CISO, and this video I'm specifically going to give you five different tips to help you progress or get into cybersecurity. First things first, you need to know there are several ways to approach this. Me personally, I started at Tier 2 Tech Support at a help desk, I then became a network engineer, and the next thing you know, I'm doing firewalls for the Department of Defense, doing network security level items, and then I finally progressed myself to becoming the Director of Cybersecurity for the state of Alabama, and then eventually the Information Security Officer for the Alabama Community College System. So you start at the bottom, you can work your way all the way through. It's perfectly capable, and it, you know, to those that are willing to put in the sweat, you're set. Tip number one, the first thing an organization looks at is the resume. It is what it is. I know we like to think about higher education being kind of an anchor for most folks these days, especially since a lot of the degrees don't provide any real value. Uh, but as long as you're not doing a degree in basket weaving, you will certainly be on your way. Thankfully, a lot of institutions of higher learning have developed very good cyber curriculums. So you're able to get a degree that's going to give you certifications and, and things that prove practical application of what you know and what you would learn and what you would actually do on a day-to-day -day basis. So if you can, step one, get a formal education, set yourself up for success in that regard. Obviously, don't go into a whole bunch of debt to do so, though if you were going for cybersecurity, it's one of the better ones to do because at least then you have the situation where the job you get is most likely going to enable you to pay back your student debt. Uh, number two, hands-on experience. Anytime you can gain practical experience before you actually start entry-level job hunting, you are going to set yourself up for success. Participate in cybersecurity competitions, whether that's at the high school level, the college level, or just in local security groups that you happen to join and be a member of. Um, these can be hackathons or any volunteering that you can do for local cybersecurity firms. Get your hands in there. It's going to give you a couple of things. One, it's going to teach you what it actually means to be a cybersecurity engineer or a SOC analyst or an information security officer or any of the people on the governance risk and compliance side. So you're not going to get you know, blindsided by a job that you hate later down the road. It gives you an opportunity to pivot into something you may enjoy better later. And then, of course, number two, it counts as experience because Lord knows these entry-level positions always say three to five years experience, which is not entry-level by any means. Uh, number three, self-study. IT advances and evolves daily. State and federal organizations are always behind the curve. Then you have to add in the fact that people usually stop learning or educating themselves at the age of 18 or once they get out of university or college, you need to keep your head on a swivel. You need to learn every day. You need to better yourself every day because cybersecurity goes faster than IT. Vulnerabilities come out faster than IT. So you need to set yourself up for success there. Number four, networking. Majority of the jobs that I got that were higher ranking were because of people I knew, not necessarily because of what I knew. Now, what I knew helped because I had conversations with these folks, so they knew I was capable, they knew I could apply the concepts that I talked about, and they had a direct relationship with me. They knew I knew what I was talking about, they knew they could trust me. You need to join cybersecurity groups. You need to communicate and collaborate. You need to be a part of teams. You need to voice your opinion, even if it's one that's not popular, because that's going to help build relationships, and relationships are the key to life. doesn't matter what industry you're in. Build relationships. You're going to be more successful. And then last but not least, participate in Capture the Flag events or you know any other type of cybersecurity competition, because it shows that you can apply technical or conceptual data to the real world. How many times have we had paper engineers show up to a job and they couldn't actually do what the paper said they could? Sure, you passed your CCMP, but if you can't do any kind of routing or adding VLANs to specific interfaces, then obviously you need to brush up on your application of those skills. And certainly as an organization, you don't necessarily want to hire those people unless they can actually go out and do, right? So make sure you're getting the experience you need. Educate yourself, whether formally or self. 
That's, you know, those are numbers one and three. Make sure you get hands-on experience, which kind of leads into, you know, number two and number five. And then, of course, networking. Stay social. I know it's hard. We work in IT. We like to stare at walls when we walk down the hall. But you need to do a good job of building your circle and making sure that circle is strong because those are the people that are going to look to hire you or that you're going to look to hire in the future whenever you have certain hurdles come out. Hopefully this video does a good job of giving you some insight and some tips on how to either progress in cybersecurity or how to get into it if you're not already. If you have any questions, guys, don't hesitate. Post in the comments below. We love to see them. We love to, to have conversation. We love the engagement. And of course, hit the like button if you like the video. Help other people find it. And if you haven't already, subscribe because Office of the CISO is here to provide guidance. We have a podcast. We do definition videos application of processes, etc. And we're even going to have some, some training videos for security certifications. So thank you for your time. You guys have a wonderful day and hit that like button. See you next time.